All right, welcome back, everybody. It is time for a little more Red Velvet. And uh, guys, I told you last week that we would be doing this, so hopefully it's not coming to a surprise to any of you guys. And if it is a surprise, well, welcome. It's going to be a good one. <laughs> it's going to be a good one because we are doing Red Velvet's Killing Voice video. So unfortunately, I will not be able to give you my art department, uh, art uh director kind of uh input because this is going to be them singing but uh yeah hopefully you guys just enjoy my opinions on the songs and hopefully i like them all because so far red velvet has been a absolute surge of joy and happiness in my life and uh, i've been i've been honestly slamming those songs on repeat uh over and over again <laughs> <laughs> and in case you haven't seen them, it, uh, I started with Feel My Rhythm, then we did Psycho, and then we just did Cosmic. And Cosmic is quite literally brings me to my happy place. It's so funny, too, because I don't know why. I think because I, I saw some UFC fights and stuff over the weekend, and I was like, if I had to do a walkout song, I'd pick Cosmic by Red Velvet. I feel like it would be a very funny intro. Uh, and I would probably skip to the stage, because why not? So, uh, yeah, with that all being said, guys, I hope you guys are ready because I'm ready. And uh, it's time to watch The Killing Voice featuring Red Velvet. Let's go. What did I just say? Did I say, did I say Killing Voice or did I say Killing Floor? Am I crazy? I said it's Killing Voice, right? I don't know. Oh yes. Also, uh, this week we will be doing a. Um, actually, by the time this is out, <laughs> I'll have already done it. But uh, I do plan on doing a live stream as well, uh, and we're gonna do sticky. We're gonna dance. We're doing the one one hour dance challenge. So I mean, if you are watching this now, go find it on my challenge. You're gonna see me dance like a fool. So, yep. Here we go. <laughs> No, I thought the subtitles were in English, but they only have the auto-generated ones. Uh, I hate when they do The auto-generated don't even do anything. That's a bummer. Well, we're just gonna have to. Killing Imagine they're saying oh, nice things. <laughs> saying, wow, I'm so excited to be here at the Killing Voice. And hey, we're happy and we're excited to show you music. Oh, starting up. Here we go. Happiness. Sometimes you gotta be bold. Just rock the world. Happiness, let's go. What kind of beat is that in the back? Kind of got that like Indian almost vibe. Or is it like Latin music? I like that. Happiness. I'm gonna pause real quick. All right, real quick. It just sounds like they're going to the next part of the song, so I was like, yeah, it's probably a good time. Bollywood, yes. 
I'm just trying to think of come up with Bollywood. Yes, thank you, Kartasha. I think that is along the lines of what I was thinking. But another thing that I was also thinking too is like it is cool because it does say here at the bottom here that this was from uh, 2014. So it's, I'm pretty sure uh, I remember seeing a comment saying that's when they debuted. So I'm assuming this is the debut song. And, uh, you know, it is kind of funny because it, it, it does give off that little bit of like kitty vibe to it where it's like a, 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 a much younger vibe to the song. You know what I'm saying? Like it sounds more like a debut song than like the songs that I've heard, which are all more recent songs. Uh, as well so interesting interesting to see but it's fun too like they're like it, it's happy you know it's it's uplifting it's nice i like it and they all sound amazing too which is also not very surprising uh because when we did see them do the um when they did psycho at the uh uh the festival which i'm forgetting the name it's uh rev rev rev, rev love festival uh, they sounded so good there too. So it's like we already know they can sing. So this isn't too surprising. But uh, yeah, still. Are you happy? Not really. <laughs> Dude, she's got a very powerful voice. Dumb dumb. Hey, hey, hey. This one's a little bit more on the hip hop side. Maybe not really hip hop. Awesome harmonies, dude. Even on like the rapping bits. That's fun. Ice cream cake from 2015. Oh. Alright, real quick, sorry. Uh dude, I will say I like that song. That's that was a fun one. Especially like that kind of hard contrast between when like they, they kind of drop into like kind of the weirder little bit of the beat and then it like hit into the rap bits. You're like, oh, okay, okay, what's up? And then like uh very um see now i feel like people might get upset that i i, I say it like this but it's like I, I for a lack of a better word but it's like almost like a little bit more girly chorus 
You know what I mean? Where it's like very cutesy. Cutesy is probably the better word for it. Uh, it's funny too because I was telling my friends about uh, the group and how I was like their songs are stuck in my head right now. And I'm like the best way that I could describe it is like me as a young person, you know, like back back in high school and stuff. Uh, which I guess actually technically they weren't even a group yet because I uh, I graduated high school in 2010. But uh, I don't know. When I was a younger younger man, I was a lot more uh, set in my ways when it came to music, where I really wasn't willing to open up and try new things or whatnot. Like this kind of music would be an absolute no go in my eyes you know it's like it's too cutesy it's too girly it's whatever you know i'm an emo kid i i'm like hardcore music i like metal you know like it was so like different from what i i'm used to you know so it's funny listening to it now and it's like i'm just eating it up dude i'm loving it i'm loving it man i'm absolutely loving it uh early 2000s emo kids welcome to your k-pop era uh it is funny too because like i actually remember like in high school there was like a couple of dudes who i don't even think they're really into k-pop like i think they like showed us a k-pop song or something at some point or like maybe one of us caught one of them listening to it we made so much fun of them for it uh and he was korean <laughs> <laughs> he was Korean too, so it wasn't even like it was it was that weird or anything, but it was just like Yeah, I was so anti this, you know? And it's like it's funny that now I'm like, yo, I love this. See Kartasha? Same boat. Same boat. Having conversations about it. But uh yeah, it's just one of those weird ironies where I'm like, if my high school self met me right now, he would make fun of me. But at the same time, too, I'd also make fun of high school me. So who's really the winner here? I don't really know. <laughs> Although, in fairness, depending on how old I was in high school, the high school me, if it was like my later years of high school, he'd probably beat the crap out of me. <laughs> I I was in such better shape back then and now I'm all injured and decrepit like an old man. All right, Russian roulette, let's go. Who would not make fun of their high school self? Yeah, you're right. You're right. Russian roulette. Wait, why do they have a song about Russian roulette? A game where you possibly kill yourself. Find those people who peaked in high school. I kind of peaked in high school. Not gonna lie. I think I peaked like just after high school. Now I'm a loser. Oh well. Comment something nice down below to make me feel better. <laughs> really farm in those comments. But seriously, I definitely need the uh, morale boost. So if you could say something nice, I'd appreciate it. Uh, if you have something mean to say, ah, fuck it. Say it too. It might be funny. <laughs> <laughs> Weird to have a song about Russian roulette, though. Be very curious to see what the lyrics to this are. Guess we'll have to do reactions to more Red Velvet. See, it's just cutesy, dude. But I'm here for it, dude. Oh, hello. See, already learning the dance moves, dude. Zimzala bit. 2019. Very. It's a, 
<laughs> Sorry, gotta acknowledge that comment. Russian Roulette is a very cute game. Oh my gosh, yes. That's that's the perfect way to explain it. You're right. You're right. You're absolutely right. Also, too, I will say another fun thing that I like to think about, too, is, like, where was I when these songs were coming out? So, like, 2014 was, like, the first one. And I'm like, yeah, I was... I was just doing youth ministry back in the day. I really thought I was not going to be doing anything in entertainment. Very different time. Very different time. I also, uh, it was the, it was the year before I really hurt myself. <laughs> I like really hurt my back in 2015. I almost died. It was cool. It was a really fun time. That's for another day. Actually, I can make a video on that too. If you guys want, I actually have video footage of me almost killing myself snowboarding. So, I don't know. If anybody's interested in that, I can give an explanation of what happened. It's pretty scary. I was graduating with my bachelor's and working on my master's. Hell yeah. So, this song is Zim Zilabim. I like, I like the way that sounds. Does that have a meaning? I don't know if you guys know here in the chat, but if not, if on YouTube, you guys can let me know it there, too. That'd be cool. Are you ready for this? Yes. I am ready for this, guys. Are you ready for this? Does that song title tickle your brain? Yeah. I don't think it has anything to do with being a ginger, though. Sounds familiar. <laughs> <laughs> I just float away. <laughs> right? <laughs> All right, tell me about the only one that sounded like that was like some ritualistic chant, right? Tell me my, my acting like I was being fucking possessed and lifting away wasn't just me. Also, we are definitely skipping back to it because that was so... I like it, though. I like it. I like the way that sounded. So it kind of dropped from the cutesy into, like, the deeper... Like, I, I don't know. I'm a sucker for that. I'm just going to say Mike being exercised. It's like abracadabra. Oh. Flex some vocals on us real quick. There we go, flex it, baby. Woo. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> yes, dude. This song's fun. Hold on real quick. Uh, according to Urban Dictionary, a magical word that one would say to complete a trick similar to abracadabra is composed of three names. Zim, Zala, Bim. The trickster demons. Ah. Okay, cool. Thank you for letting us know, Kartasha. Carpool. Everybody get in. Excuse me, baby.
Yes, this song feels like a song you're listening to in the car. Driving with your friends? Ooh, a transition. Window. <laughs> Yo, sorry. Freaking, we got Wendy over here just doing runs, man. Just doing runs. Like, what? Ah. Also, I'm pretty sure I will say, too. I didn't do this at the beginning of the video, which I probably should have, but I I still feel like I don't know everybody's names well. I feel like I know this is Wendy, and this is definitely Irene. But then I start to mix up the rest. Because we got Sulgi. We got Joy. Wait, what did I say was her name? Her name is Irene. Shoot, man. Now I'm forgetting again. I'm still learning. I'm still learning. Wait. And Yuri. So, you know, don't kill me if I'm wrong, but I think it was Yuri. Sulgi and Joy? Sulgi, Joy? Let me say it again without covering my mouth. Sulgi and Joy, Yuri, Irene, Wendy. Pretty sure that's it. Could be wrong, could be right. I'm almost positive I'm right about these two, though. Wendy and Irene. Because they have names that I'm most familiar with, which is funny because Joy is also like an American name that I probably should know, but... I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Ah, this song is not going to be able to get it out of the way. It's just nice that they all look like they're having a lot of fun. You better know. Better know. <laughs> Okay, a little bit of a light song, possibly. Another question for you guys. I'll wait till after the song. You 
Oh, that's a nice vibe. All right, real quick, before we get to the next one. Um, are there any, uh, and also I, I know chat probably doesn't know this, but um, for, for those watching on YouTube, are any of them possibly native English speakers? Or did they all just work really hard on their pronunciations? Because like, you know, I mean, what, we've listened to what, six songs of theirs now? Like little snippets of them? And like, you know, all of them have bits of English in there and like their pronunciation of everything in it is like pretty, pretty much perfect. Like they, they don't really, uh, we'd, I'd have to like hear them do an interview or something where they speak English, but like, or you actually hear them speak for a little bit longer, but at least when they're singing, like they have almost no accent. <laughs> Maybe that's just me, especially in this one. Uh, you better know, like there's like, they barely had any accent on there. Wendy appears to be Canadian. See, I knew it. I knew, I knew it. I was like, there's definitely some foreigners in this group. There's gotta be. There's gotta be. I was like, there, that English is too good. <laughs> it's like that accent is really, really solid. If, uh, if they, if they weren't. Okay. Cool. 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 All right. Keep moving. Ooh. Red flavor. Her raps are also very solid on like every song so far. Dude, she's a powerhouse. Oh, like, God, her voice is wild. <laughs> Hold on, sorry, what? I was happy go lucky songs. Yeah, seriously, this is like literally all these songs have been like very upbeat and like fun i mean honestly of course too uh, a lot of it's in korean so it's hard to tell they could just be very upbeat -y songs with very horrifyingly dark meanings behind them but uh i kind of doubt it at the same time but yeah i mean every song is just kind of like ah oh, just feeling good man i'm just feeling good like i'll say this dude red velvet has very quickly rise in my ranks of, of favorites like they they are very much in the top Top tier for me. I can't wait to check out these music videos. 
<laughs> I can't wait, dude. Yeah, and we're older, so we don't feel weird. It's the best. Okay. <laughs> what just happened? Just skip back? All right. Well, just randomly skip back like 15 seconds. We'll take it. That's fine. We can re, we can re listen to this bit. <laughs> also, like the music behind it is like every song, it's been different and fun. Is a favorite good choice still cosmic for me though i will say Ooh, psycho we know this song baby let's go Woo! those high notes baby God, they just like sound unreal. It's groups like this that I, I say all the time, like God has favorites, and I ain't one of them. Them? Yeah, absolutely. Me? No way. One of these nights. We got another ballad right now. 
Got that like R and B in there. Ooh, sultry. How? Automatic. How do you like this to be? It's natural and automatic for you. Yay! Natural and automatic for you. I love the way my mom comes on the chair whistle. Try to pull context from the English words. <laughs> To love. Hey. Get that
네, 이 곡은 우리 레드벨벳이 수록곡 맛집으로 유명하게 해준 노래입니다. 바로 바로 오 보. 아. 오 보. 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 
the change-ups, dude. What a chill kill. That's an interesting. Again, would love more context. sing together. Amazing. Ooh, and a little change up in there. Bravo, girls! Bravo! God, that didn't even feel like long at all. Dude, that was sick. That was sick. All right, all right, all right. Well, guys, I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing there in the comments section. You guys are trying to make me fall in love. It worked. <laughs> my hair is all messed up from the headphones. <laughs> Don't look at me. No, um, yo, wow. That only made me more excited to check out more from red velvet i again i don't know why we waited so long for this but um it was one of those timing things i think i think it was just one of those timing things where uh they they came into my life when i needed them to you know and there's other groups that came into my life when i needed them and i think this was the perfect time for uh red velvet to make an appearance and uh, bring some some extra joy into uh, my life. So, thank you, thank you, Red Velvet. I don't think you'll ever watch this, but still, thank you. You're awesome, and I I look forward to doing way more reactions to you guys. This was the time for happy. That's true. <laughs> all right, well, guys, uh, if you can answer all my questions and whatnot in the comments, let me know which uh, music videos you want me to check out from Red Velvet as well. That would be extra appreciated. Um, and, uh, yeah. 
I don't know. Let me know what's next. Oh, also, yeah, we're going to uh, do some more uh, killing voices here pretty soon. So if you have any recommendations for those, um, I don't even know who's actually done them, but I do know 17 has done there. So next week we'll most likely do 17's killing voice. And uh, yeah. Oh, Mike's got a new girl. girl blah, blah, Mike's got a new girl group crush. Yeah. Big time. Big time dude like honestly they they might have just come up with like on on twice level for me which is crazy because i love twice and they're all all our age that's true listen i'm not gonna try to make it weird or anything but like listen if anybody in that group ever wanted a kiss by all means <laughs> i'm right here i'm ready so that's that's all i'll say I was like, damn, they're all gorgeous. They're great at singing. They're freaking dope. Dope in my eyes. So, yeah. <laughs> and he just made it weird. On that note, guys, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Let me know how much of a weirdo I am in the, in the comment section. And, uh, yeah, see ya. Well, 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 hopefully you enjoyed that video. And if you did, please go ahead and be very, very kind to me and the channel. And uh, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, do all the cool, fun things that you can do here on YouTube, bell notifications and whatnot. Uh, it really helps us grow and it helps the channel have a uh, better opportunity to become something marvelous. All right. And uh, to be honest with you guys, I, I could use the help. So please go ahead and do that. Caution nothing. And uh, yeah, it should be a pretty cool thing. So before you guys leave, make sure you leave a recommendation of what we should check out next. And, uh, yeah, we will get around to it. Also, leave comments of what you guys thought in the, the, uh, the, the comments down below because I will be in there. I will be chatting with you guys. And, uh, yeah, I love to interact with you. So do that. Do all those other things. And have a fantastic rest of your week, all right? I love you all. Stay aggressively positive. We'll catch you on the next one, all right? Love you. Bye. Mwah.